Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 3 of Compact Claustrophobia, a mod pack by your hamster. So in the last episode, we crafted more room. We got six room now. One of them is uh, the compactor, the other one is the crafting room, the third one's the farm. Here we have the ore scavenging. Here we have like a random room to, to do a little bit of sieving and water forever. And we have an extra one for other things that we're going to need to do today and that we're going to use as a setup for something in the next episode. So let's just pop in here quickly. And like you saw, I put a couple of pickaxes during the time lapse just to make sure that it was collecting as much resources as possible. You know what? This one's empty. Nope, this one's empty. So let's put a constant pickaxe in here. And this has been gathering resources. And we're going to need a lot of resources for a lot of things. So today I want to push hard. I want to get ready for the steel. Like we need steel really, really much. So I'm going to be cooking more sand. I'm going to be cooking. You know what? I even want another, another, um, I want another furnace. So let's just come here and make another furnace. Today we really need to get more poop. In fact, we need to get to the infinite poop situation. Uh, I'm also be going to be cooking all of that copper grit, like so. Well, you know what? Let's come out of here and let's look at the floor and let's talk about a list of material that we're going to need. Um, nope, my list of materials not here, sorry. So we're gonna be crafting a couple of machines today. We're going to need two dust that we're gonna put in water to get two clay blocks, to get two bricks, we're going to need 20 redstone, 2 flints, 2 sands, 40 glass, 11 oak planks, 4 cobblestone, 70 copper ingots, 60 iron ingots, 42 tin ingots, 6 invar, 7 gold. And with that, we're going to be crafting 2 sawmill, a redstone furnace, a pulverizer, an induction smelter, a sequential fabricator, an igneous extruder, an aqueous accumulator, and the augment pattern validation for the sequential fabricator. And we're going to get the material, the, the material includes what we need for magma crucible. So the reason we need that is, well, first we need to start automating stuff. We need to start having some machines to do what we want to do. The sequential automator and the uh, pattern validation is a quest. And um, the magma crucible is a quest somewhere uh here but uh it's going to require that we work on this and it's not going to be this episode but i figured if we're going to craft everything we might as well sawmill we're going to need here and that's the first thing we want to make okay also sugary goodness who doesn't like this stuff there are a few ways to get it using your newly acquired sieve or just rummaging through another type of coarser dirt sugar cane i transformed my two sugar cane I transformed my two sugarcane seeds before I used, like, I recognized the quest. So now I have to get another one. Because that's what's going to unlock the, the other quest around here. So we're really kind of stuck. Uh, we have this quest. What's poopin good looking? Get a bucket of pungent stuff. Nitre can be filtered from this by throwing in some dust. So it's talking about sewage bucket, but it's not telling you how to make a sewage bucket. You make sewage by throwing poop in water. And now, this one, sawmill, very handy machine, yields twice the plank for your bonsai wood and is a great way of making sawdust. Also used to make pulp biomass, which is a handy way to get more poop for when nature call is not frequent enough. So pulp biomass equal more poop. Pulp biomass, right here. Um, is made from crushing eight potatoes or four pumpkins or four melons or eight carrots or eight sugar cane or eight beetroot, these I don't really care, or four cactus or eight wheat. So we really need to get to farming harder. Then it can be used through pulp biomass with a sawdust to make pulp bioblend and pulp bioblend, when you throw it in sewage, you get three poop but you only really get two because what happens is as you throw this in water well unless it's not infinite water if you have an infinite water source the water block is going to get recreated and 
throwing a poop in water makes more poop. So that's why in the last episode, I made sure to keep one poop somewhere. Yeah, right here. I made sure to keep one poop. So our iron is ready. That's all of the iron that we're going to need. And I already had some tin because I had started preparing stuff. So I don't need to cook more tin. This is my sand. I, I need the copper. The, did I not start? Oh yes, I started the copper. So I'm good on the copper. I'm going to need seven gold, so might as well start them now. And I'm going to use stick for the time being because it's when you're doing small quantities, like I don't want to use a poop fuel that I don't even have. Do I have at least 40 tin? Yes, I have at least 40 tin. Do I have six invar? Oh yes, that's nice. Uh, I have the cobblestone, I have the hulk wood, I have, so basically I need the dust and water. So let's go out of here and let's grab let's grab some dirt and let's grab this the wooden barrel let's get back in here let's go where the water is we're going to put this down right here uh, and we're going to get the dust and a bucket and we're going to pump some water in here and put one dust that's one clay and again for another clay and i'm going to take this off right now i don't really need more for now and we can leave, get out of here. Oh, sorry, wrong room and get in here. And you know what? I'm going, is that enough glass? Yes. So I'm going to, I, I've never really tried cooking with planks. So let's put 32 planks and a stack of iron grit and see how this is going to go. So this is continuing. We should have our seven gold. Perfect. Uh, 70 copper. So we're going to need 70 copper ingot. We don't have enough copper. So time to get into something important. So let's search copper grit. Whenever there's a material you want, click on it and go to scavenge. So I get, get it with the stone pickaxe or I can get it with a bronze pickaxe, 100% chance. So I'm going to grab six uh, bronze like so and make two pickaxe. And I wanna show you something. So one of my friend was, I was talking with one of my friend about the episodes and what I'm doing. And basically talk to me about um, gaming on caffeine, which is another YouTuber and they have a macro and I've reproduced. So basically I have a gaming mouse. It's a hero Logitech G502 and you can record macro. And what I basically did is I recorded a macro where I click mouse wheel down, click mouse wheel up. And I put that on a special weird button on the side. And when you hold it, I stopped talking because of the noise, but as you can see, it just cycles quickly between the two and start getting more material. So we need 70. We have 30, 40, 55, 65, 69, 70. I, I'm just going to get a little bit more. And I do agree that this might be cheating a little bit, but I'm recording and it's much faster than doing that. And I forgot to prepare this in advance. So even though it's a little bit cheaty, I'm okay with it. Just in like to use in very rare occasion when I just need to accelerate something so that we can uh, progress further. You know what? I'm going to grab this, grab this and split it in two. Okay. So now while this is waiting, uh, we're going to start crafting. So the reason oh, I don't want the furnace there. If the furnace is on the right, this recognize the furnace. But if there's no, it recognize the chest on the other side. I also need the redstone and I did write. Oh, wow. I'm all over the place. I do need redstone. And um, you know what? I also want to grab this dirt and this gravel. Perfect. Let's go back here. Do I have more dirt and gravel? I have more gravel here. Perfect. And more dirt. I'm going to grab the dirt like a so, and I'm going to grab the gravel like so. And the reason, oh, that's not a lot, but maybe I'm going to be ha uh, lucky. So just before we get to crafting, we're going to do something, a little something here. If you remember, we got our sugar cane by Et voila, we got the sugar cane seed, which is all I needed to be able to complete this quest. I don't want coarse dirt, so I'm going to 
just finish clicking those until they become dirt. Perfect. Same on this one. And I did that only to be able to unlock the quest. Come on, this is so slow. You know what? When you want it to just get rid of it, it takes forever <laughs> to transform it. This is funny. What is this? And, and when you want to get a specific seed, then you have to click it. You click it once and it breaks. Like this, this, I'm sorry. This to me was way too funny. Okay, so if I come back here, we got the sugary goodness, which unlocked the pressed off. Pressed off, also pre question stuff or press stuff, is the German language term for a type of ersatz or artificial letter used during the first half of the 20th century, made of specially layered and treated paper pulp. Pressed off was durable and easily adapted to be used in place of leather. In Minecraft, that is made by throwing paper into sewage water. It's true. So let's search leather because it said in place of leather. So if I click on leather, I can make leather with three pressed off and you get pressed off with paper in sewage. So we're going to need a lot more poop. And the reason we need leather is one of the craft that we're going to get with leather is, uh, I skipped it. Where is it? Oh, here, the conveyor belt because, oh, I didn't want to exit because if you look here, it's bringing us to the metal press makes leather so we're going to want to make three leather so we're going to need nine paper so right now i'm going to make the nine paper to be ready for when we go make some food and now we can do our crafting so all of the gold is to be made into these redstone reception coil we need two servos uh two servos or three servos i'm just looking at my list uh, we need two redstone servos one two we need uh, we need a couple of uh, copper gear. Okay, so we need. Let's start with the the, the tin gear. We need uh, how many tin gear do we need? Six. Uh, I already have one, so I'm only going to make five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. That's six. No, not five. Whew, thank God I checked again. I'm going to need eight. Perfect. Um, I need eight tin gear and the eight tin gear with the glass is going and the iron is going to make, oh, is going to make eight machine frame. Perfect. Now we need 17 copper gear. That's 16 and that's 17. Perfect. Uh, we need, uh, the seven redstone reception coil, the two servos, the 17 gears, the eight. What else do we need? We're going to need, I'm, I'm going to make another bucket because one of the recipes is going to use a bucket and I always want to keep two buckets for when I need to pick up my water. Uh, we're going to need a crafting table. So let's make some more wood. Sometimes I just miss it. So a crafting table. And we're going to need an invar gear. So one, two, three, four, like so. Invar gear, perfect. Was that a copper? No, that's a bronze gear, good. And we're going to need one piston. So one piston is two cobblestone like this, three planks, a redstone. I never remember, uh, and I always do them wrong, like this. And now we need two saw blades. So the two saw blades are made with a copper in the center. <clears throat> an iron around like this and voila perfect so now we can get crafting some machines so first <clears throat> the sawmill I want two of those perfect then the let's go back to my list the redstone oh okay I kind of forgot so the redstone is gonna have to wait a little bit because I'm going to have to do some cooking so four in here and four in here Perfect, get rid of this, this, and this. Uh, so we're gonna skip the redstone. We're gonna go to the pul pulverizer, like so. Uh, I need, is that not on my list? Or I just forgot to read them? No, I, I read them, I just forgot to pick them because since I had everything in the chest, I didn't care. So a pulverizer, 
Then the next machine is an induction smelter. Induction smelter, like so. There's no quest for half of these machine, but I know I need them to build various stuff. So I figured if we're making an episode where we're gonna craft a couple of things, why not craft everything at the same time? Oh, I need an extra thin gear. So I'm hopefully you've, you're going to have seen an adjusted list and someone panicking saying, no, 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 I, I, I read the wrong thing. And then we need a aqueous, oh uh, no, not the, well, I already started writing it. So let's do the aqueous accumulator. Oh, I forgot to craft the two iron gear and I forgot to craft the device frame, which was on my list. So now I can craft the aqueous accumulator, which is going to give us infinite water. And then we need to craft the igneous extruder. So igneous extruder. The igneous extruder is what we're going to use. Ooh, that was scary. The igneous extruder is what we're going to use to make our uh, cobblestone. So just to be sure, oh, redstone furnace. It should be ready by now. So four <coughs> and four and right here. So let's do redstone furnace like so. I need to make these bricks first and now the redstone furnace, perfect. And sawmill, two sawmill, redstone furnace, pulverizer, induction smelter, sequential fabricator, igneous extruder, aqueous accumulator, augment pattern validation, and the magma crucible. And the magma crucible, see, I don't have the nether rack yet. And the nether rack is made with water and redstone in a stone barrel. We don't have lava yet. And we need hardened glass. And if I find the right recipe of hardened glass, uh, Arden glass. It. I hate that there's like 20 variants like that and that none of them are useful. Like I don't ever use, the, well, I personally. Okay, you don't want to give me the standard hardened glass recipe. Great. Hardened glass recipe, which one is it? Uh, no, no. This one. Okay, it's going to be made in an induction smelter with lead grit and pulverized obsidian <clears throat> and obsidian we're going to pulverize in a pulverizer which is why we needed the pulverizer and the obsidian we're going to get with water over lava so as you've guessed it we're going to need lava and if you guys are wondering why we're not doing lava now it's because for lava we're going to need steel that being said we've unlocked a couple of quests so if i come back here we've unlocked now the um Sequential automator, getting into fabrication, sorry, automation. And then the next quest was right here. This can help your fabricator a bit. It's an augment pattern validation, which makes me think that uh, we're going to need to craft an augment, uh, not an augment, like a, oh, what's the name? Uh, an upgrade, because if we're, we're going to need to put it in the fabricator. So let's grab the fabricator somewhere sequential fabricator put it down put this in it and then let's put this pattern in it and basically if i remember correctly what this pattern it does is that it adds auto uh, input capability so and two slots reserved for each material so that when we decide to use it to make uh that's not iron but let's say it was iron pickaxe like this that if we send material to it that it doesn't feel like with sticks like this that it's going to keep place for the iron at least so anyway i'm going to pick that up and then i'm just going to have space uh, let's make one more chest because i want to get rid of some things because now we have to go and do a little bit of setup so this with tin ingot and oh i have enough to make another upgrade so i'm going to make another upgrade right now to upgrade the chest um, and the two redstone, perfect. So I'm gonna put this chest down. And as we did in the first episode, if you remember, now we're just going to throw in here everything that we don't need to use right now, this and this, and now we can come back downstairs. Get rid of this, get rid of this, keep the paper, keep the bucket, get rid of this. Get rid of the wooden barrel, Get rid of the dirt and the cobblestone and the sand for now. So all I care about for now is the dust. And I need my poop. My one poop that I have to be careful. And also I want the two sawmill. 
So now, if I go to the quest, we've also completed the sawmill quest. So let's come back here. We've completed the sawmill quest, so we unlocked bio blending. When the stomach aches, this will help you at stage. It wants us to make pulp bio blend, and on the other side, carbon based material. Sawdust can be used as a less efficient substitute when making gunpowder. Ooh, gunpowder. So that's interesting. And you see that gunpowder is here, but it requires a couple of quests. It requires nitrate, it requires carbon based material, and smelling fine. So we're going to come right here, grab a stack of wheat, and, uh, no, sorry, a stack, two stacks of beetroot, and a stack of plank, uh, not plank, bonsai oak cutting. We're going to go here, and the reason we're going here is that here we have power. I'm going to set my entry point right here, put one sawmill on each side. Oh, disable, disable all the output. Perfect, because I don't want it to throw in the hoppers. So here and this here. So this is going to unlock sawdust and the pulp, the biomass something. We're just going to wait for one of each to complete the quest. This is a bit slow. So technically, I could upgrade this, these machines. And when you upgrade these machines, they do go a little bit faster. Uh, and there's also speed augment that you can put to make them much faster. But I have to control my... Uh, I have to control my RF. I don't have a lot of power right now. So Sawdust completes a quest, and Pulp Biomass completes another quest, but it's not enough to do anything with. So while we're waiting for this, we're go. oh, forgot one step. Uh, if we go back in here, there is also another couple of quests that we can complete, because as I said here, smelling fine. We need niter and smelling fine. So let's go back right here. Smelling fine is here. So now we did the fibrous diet, we did the string, and now we need to make a string mesh. I'm going to make two string mesh because there's one that I'm going to transform into um, a iron mesh later. I knew I was going to need two, so I was gathering, you know what, let's make the iron mesh now. There's no quest for the iron mesh, so that's six of this and six iron, like a so. So we're gonna take one, make it into a flint stiffened mesh, and then again to make it into an iron stiffened mesh, and we're not gonna be able to make a diamond stiffened mesh because diamonds are a long way off. And now we're gonna come back in here. We're gonna put this, we're going to use not the iron stiffened this time, because the dust, what we wanna do right now is we wanna sieve dust and get sulfur and bone meal. And what we want is two sulfur and Ooh, sorry, just a quick jump down. Let's come back here. I made these two bronze pickaxe to be getting a lot more copper. And I just wanna make sure that these are all filled. Uh, so this is about to break. Uh, iron, iron, iron. Do I have another one? Okay, so you know what? There's one thing that I know I'm going to need a lot of. It's uh, more cobblestone because the sand that I have is unfortunately not going to be enough. So what I'm going to do is two, four, six. I'm going to make six wooden uh, pickaxe so that I can go in here and I'm gonna put two here, two here, two here, and Oh, it's eight that I wanted to make, but this is a brand new constant pickaxe. So I'm gonna put two down here anyway. Uh, this is iron, you know what? I'm just going to put one here and one here. Okay, so now there's no need to worry about this. I can go back and now I need to see. And now I need to be lucky because basically with one sulfur, and you know what, just to show it, I'm gonna show it quickly. The reason we need sulfur is that one sulfur used um don't throw it in the water oh don't throw it in the water we don't need yellow pigment right now so one sulfur four niters and a sawdust is going to make three gunpowder and gunpowder is going to make tnt which you saw a picture in the quest so we're going to need two sulfur to make two sets of uh, gunpowder so that we have at least five and we're going to have one extra so the idea is uh, and okay, I'm also going to show something else 
If I come back here in the quest, and you see we're going to Big Boom, Steel, um, TNT, and Hard as Steel, and we're going to just take a quick look. Steel Grit. Steel Grit is gotten by exploding full block of iron with 75% chance that gives 6 grit. So now I'm going to explain. What does that mean? It means that for each of the block that we're going to blow up, there's a 75% chance that that block A, one sulfur, there's 75% chance that that one block is going to transform into steel grit. And if it does transform into steel grit, you get exactly uh, 6 steel for sure. So whatever we're going to get is a uh, a multiple of six and the biggest room we have is in three by three when you're in a three by three there's 27 spaces okay you need to stand in two spaces so there's 25 spaces left and you need to put dynamite so there's 24 space left so what I'm going to do is when we get to the time lapse of this episode how could I be so lucky Wow you know what, just because it was part of my explanation, I'm going to continue because we're going to need more sulfur anyway later. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare 210 iron ingot to make 24 block of iron. And if I do 24 block times 75 percent times 6, I should get around 108 steel grit which should be enough to get us started on everything that's still related. Uh, I'm going to keep four dust. You know what? Just to be sure, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to put them aside right now. The reason I'm putting four dust aside, aside is to make the niter. We saw earlier, I showed you the niter you get by throwing a dust in sewage and it transforms into two niters and the quest is going to want eight, so we need four dust. That's why I was making more cobblestone because I figured I would be unlucky and might not get my two sulfur. Like sometimes you can be really unlucky. In my test world, I think I went through two and a half stack of dust to get two sulfur. I was really annoying. Anyway, uh, so we're going to get the steel this way. So we're going to prepare in the time lapse and I'm going to set up in the empty machine that we have the 24 block. It put the four okay that's called you should concentrate son and I didn't concentrate so now ooh, this is blocked I completely forgot to check this you know what I'm I'm tired of this let's take one little detour and let's craft something that a quest wants us to make a cache so let's make one two oh I can only make two cache so let's make two cache uh, I'm going to need wood, so you know what? Let's come in here, let's come in here. Plenty of wood, right? And this, and put the other stack, and let's come back. So with all of this, we're going to make one and two chests, and the reason I can't make more than that is I only have seven tin left. I'm also going to need to be smelting resource in my time lapse. So let's do this, and this, and that's going to give us two cash like so and we're going to go outside go in the corner and we're going to put a cache here and a cache there and the two things we have the most of is iron and redstone so that's that's a easy way of emptying so let's take that let's take that another easy way of emptying you know what let's also do this what i usually do in when i'm playing is that i pre-craft you you always 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 need uh modularium see i pre-crafted every time i get a chance or i was getting too full on resource oh okay <laughs> wow i would always make because that's nine stack that became one and then i can show this in here this in here, I can grab all of this. Wow, this feels so good and put it here. Perfect. So going back to our regularly scheduled episode, now we have the pulp biomass that we can put with the sawdust to get pulp bio blend. And now we can do the poop and we're going to need four dust. So you know what, one, two, three, four. 
that's going to be easy like that and we're going to use the almost dead hammer i'm going to need to make a new hammer oh quest completed bio blend so now we must have completed a couple of quests so if i come back here we have completed the smelling fine the yellow dye we don't need now we're going to get to later and in infinite tiny space we completed bio blending and carbon based material and now we need to get the poop so let's go and do the poop quest so let's come nope let's come in here and we're going to throw one poop in here now we have to do this in a very specific order first i'm going to pick up i want to cry that was my only poop derp with etc wouldn't be fun if there wasn't a derp so now we're going to be farming until we poop and oh my god this can be lucky or unlucky i cannot i kept this one poop just for that all i had to do was be careful but no i had to talk i had to try to entertain oh even if i'm shifting if i have the wrench in my hand i can grab please give me a poop like just don't don't be shitty just no be shitty give me give me a poop please this is really annoying. I. Come on. All of this just waiting for one poop because etc. had to go and not even throw a dust in it, which would at least have given us nitre. No, no, no. I had to actually put the block down with my hand and make sure to destroy the sewage. You know what i don't even want this in my hand for now i'm i don't even want to see the dust and you see that's why you need this recipe to make poop because omg the gods of pooping are not nice to me i've never felt this constipated and i'm happy to share it with you well happy is a relative term because ah oh, just give me a poop i've always wondered if being full also helped in making poop so just please oh yes perfect so try to please don't dirt please don't dirt please don't dirt show the poop sewage pick up the poop complete quest back complete quest what's pooping good looking and niter night are very creative description useful in gunpowder so we're we're going to put the poop back down which overwrites the water that i knew it worked and we're going to throw a pop bio blend in it it's going to transform into three poops water's going to flow make a new block and make more sewage and now we have two poops and now we have four and now we have six and now we have eight and now we have 10 and 12 and 14 and now you guys and 16 and now you guys all know that i can count in bound of two so now that i did that let's make our niter one poop one dust one poop, one dust, one poop, one dust. Perfect. And again, we have to be careful not to waste our poop. So let's come back in here, pick up all of this. And this eight is going to give us the 11th. Uh, well, we need 12. So we can also do eight like this. 12 with the sawdust is going to give us, I don't remember. I don't know the count. So if I do these 12 with this, it's going to give us 16. So that's going to be 32 more poop. And this I can pick up. And do I have some? Yes. Bonsai cutting. Perfect. So back in the crafting, uh, I think we're pretty close to done with what I wanted to do with this episode. So now that we have this much poop, uh, let's come back here. One, two, three. You guys remember? Oh, you guys remember what I said? I said that I wanted to prepare a lot of uh, dust. So let's not <laughs> let's not make this mistake. Let's transform only six. You know what? Only six, like so. Transform this, and now we can start six, uh, three stacks of iron. Uh, so that's sixty-four. That's a hundred and. 28 and that's 132 
and 192. So we're close to the 210 that we're going to need for the steel. So let's go back and look at the quest. So now we can make our gunpowder. Let's make our gunpowder. We're going to start from the sulfur, find the gunpowder, and we can make the gunpowder. And we have the sand, so with the gunpowder, we're going to make our TNT. And then I'm going to throw this in here, and this in here, like so, like this, and this, and this. I'm going to keep one poop on me. Oh, yes, perfect. So sand, TNT, we're going to need one flint and steel. Boom, big boom. We're going to go read that quest. Just give me a moment. I'm just reorganizing things a little bit. That's going to be our flint and steel. That's going to be to blow up the TNT. You know what? Just, I just want to show you. I'm not going to blow it up. I'm going to be super careful. Those are a famous last word, I know. But this is where we're going to do this. Basically, I'm going to fill the whole bottom. And I'm going to step here. And I'm going to put the TNT right here and I'm going to leave this place so that I never hit it. And we're going to safely view it from here. So I'm going to fill this whole room with iron and we're going to start the next episode with a boom and we're going to have steel. Perfect. So now let's go back here. I just, you have to make sure to continue emptying. You know what? I'm going to need a cash for the silver and the gold. And we have a lot of copper now and we have a lot of stone. And this, what are, oh, pickaxe done, pickaxe done. You know what? Nope. I kind of overclicked right here, right here, right here. Okay. You know what? You're going to go in here. Perfect. Okay. So going back here, uh, let's look at the quest now. So we got this, we got this. Uh, and I forgot to read this one quest. So let's go back here. Big boom. Don't sit on this while lit. So we're going to light it and we're going to leave the room when we do that. Hard as steel, slightly hazardous, obtained by exploding iron blocks placed in the world. Not always successful. Remember to not have it in water or in a clean chunk. And if I look at all of this, perfect. So now I want to do the pressed off. So let's exit here. Let's no, let's exit here, come here, and now I want to do the pressed off. So first, we need to multiply our poop. So I'm going to first start by multiplying the poop. And just quickly, the problem is that I'm re-grabbing them, so there's no point in drawing it that fast. And like I said, we now have 32 poops, and we're going to do paper, poop, paper, poop, paper poop and we're going to do this until we get our nine prestone and we're going to get two bucket of poop one another derp at least i have a lot of poop so it doesn't matter all that much but it's really annoying how i'm not careful today. I'm usually so much more careful -er 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 than that. Let's grab all of this. 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 I just don't like keeping these things in my inventory uncrafted. And if I want to make auto clicker, it's better that way. Oh, not in here. Here. It's no longer the top one. I have to remember that it's the lower one now. Perfect. So now if I come here, uh, I'm going to throw these in here. That's the scent. That's the flint and steel. That's the poop. Perfect. So now if I go back to the quest, we've completed uh, nothing new. Treated wood. Treat it however you want, but do make an engineer workbench with it. So we need to make an engineer workbench. And the engineer workbench is made from three treated wood planks, some treated wood fence, a crafting table. And the treated wood plank is made... I'm going to let you guess with creosote oil or with sewage. And we're going to need two buckets worth of treated wood planks. So let's put that in here. Let's do this and get this and voila. So now we can make some sticks to make some fence like so. We can make a workbench and now we can use the workbench the one 
fence. It's so, I hate this recipe so much. I hate that it's wasteful and gives me extra material. This is not wasteful though. We're gonna use that in the next episode. We're gonna use the pressed off to make the leather. So that's two quests completed. So we've completed the pressed off, the real leather. This should be suitable for the conveyor belt and other stuff. And we've completed the treated wood. So now we need pressing matter. Trust me, you'll need this. Pressing matter needs a metal press mold plate and an engineer blueprint metal pro press, blah, 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 metal mold press. So if I look at blueprint, so the engineer's blueprint requires three lapis, three paper, normal paper, not pressed off, and a steel plate. So we need steel to be able to do this and we need lapis. How do we get lapis? Scavenger with a steel pickaxe with a a 31% chance of drop. So we're going to need to make a steel pickaxe. You can even see that it's the next step in the quest. So that's why we need the steel. So, um, you know what? I'm going to end, oh, nope, I'm not taking that chance. I'm gonna hand, end on this right here. So now I'm going to go in a time-lapse and in my time-lapse, I'm gonna make sure that there's pickaxe in all of my auto clicker. I'm going to make uh, I'm going to uh, make more caches to be able to empty the gold and the silver because I have a lot of that and I need to be able to just put it somewhere for now. Uh, I'm depending on the time I might make another tiny room just to put all of the materials in it because I I, I have a lot of materials and I want to kind of push them somewhere for now. So I'm going to be crafting more cash, which means cooking more tin. I'm also going to be cooking more invar, and I'm going to be cooking more, uh, more constant tin, because we're going to need constant tin in the next episode, and I want to make constant tin pickaxe for the iron, and I'm going to be cooking more bronze because I want more upgrades. I, I'd like to upgrade some machines if I need to. Uh, I'm also going to do a little bit of farming just to make sure that I have enough poop to cook all of this because as you've seen, the poop is the best way to cook stuff. So it's going to be like another hour time-lapse uh, where in that hour time-lapse, I'm going to do as much as I can to prepare material. And like I said, I'm going to try and get a stack or two of Constantin. I'm going to try and get another stack of iron, uh, copper ingot, iron ingot, tin ingot. Uh, I'm also going to make some electrum. Uh, we need some electrum. And one of the things, you know what? It wouldn't be an etc. episode without one last thing. So let's, can, let's go see if we can do one last thing. I'm going to make one last furnace. <laughs> Famous last word. Uh, I'm going to make one last furnace and put this down here and put this furnace down here. And the reason uh, now this is, uh, this is stupid tight. No, I'm going to put the furnace up here. Okay. At least at that distance, I have a little bit of view. Okay. So the reason I'm taking a little bit more time is I'm going to grab three gold, three silver, three lead and you know what let's let's get them started so let's the three lead started so three gold three silver three lead three nickels three tin not the copper okay you don't need the copper and i'm going to show you why because i want to go through these pick during my time lapse so i just want to what's the cooking situation on those okay so i just want to show you like one of the thing that we started doing a little bit is we did the Constantin pickaxe, right? So now I can make this, uh, I'm gonna need a couple of sticks. Now I can make more specialized pickaxe. So the lead pickaxe, if I click on it, it's going to scavenge nickel. I'm never going to need enough nickel to be worth using this pickaxe. Never going to make another lead pickaxe. I'm making it because of the quest. So now let's grab the silver as soon as it decides to finish. Perfect. And let's show the gold. So the silver pickaxe is going to give us what? It's going to scavenge silver. So this one's very original. This one is silver for silver. 
So lead gives you nickel, but silver gives you silver. Now there's the gold, the nickel, and the tin. And you know what? Let's just redstone furnace. Let's exit here. Let's come in here. Let's grab this and move it there. Redstone furnace. Let's cook three nickel right here. While we're waiting, let's come back here. Oh, I forgot to reset my position. Good thing that this is not dangerous. Let's cook those. The three gold. So the gold is really lame. The gold gives you stone, andesite, granite, and has 32 durability. And the only reason it's good, that's how fast it is. I wasn't using any macro. I wasn't using anything fancy. Like, this is, I need a shit ton of cobblestone, and let's be honest, I have so many stacks of gold that if I really need, if I really needed like a crazy amount of cobblestone like now, that would be the easy way of doing it and not caring about it. Tin pickaxe. Tin pickaxe gives us a lead grit. So if ever I'm doing a big craft and I need a lot of lead, oh wow, this, this is painful I'm, I'm gonna have to take care of this as soon as i get out of my time lapse so what i'm going to do is i'm going to throw these pickaxe in one of those hopper and just let them burn through oh, i forgot to disable all the face so now now i need to go and find it in this hopper where's the third one hello Oh, this is annoying. Oh, it's here. Okay. Whew. So the hopper pushed it in there and I didn't even know I had some compact machine wall here. That's another thing that if I remember in my time lapse, I might be cooking a little bit of these. So let's make the last pickaxe like a so. And the nickel pickaxe gets us what? It gets us tin. So this one is actually good because tin is something I'm not getting a lot of. So let's go back here, back here, and let's just say, no, do the tin first because that's what I want to get more of. And I'm just going to grab all of this gold just so that we have a chance of gathering. Like, I don't know how quick things despawn, but this was not looking good. So let's just get rid of all of this, perfect. And I also needed to cook one last stack of iron. This is really going well really going well i'm happy with the progression in this i feel like we're really making good progress and we're really going toward expansion and basically this is what this pack feels like you're always kind of rushing to the next level to unlock the next level of technology because one we want more space and two we want the technology to unlock more space and do things more easily so what I'm the most important thing in my time lapse. I'm going. Oh, you cannot pick up the mesh. You need to break it and then put it back down and replace the mesh. So in my time lapse, I'm mainly, mainly, mainly going to be doing sand like this because, as I've shown you, sand in a sieve in an iron sieve has a 7.5% chance of aluminum, and basically we need to get four pieces. Uh, no, 12. 12 aluminum or piece that we can make into three chunks and cook into three ingots to make a, an aluminum pickaxe because now if I go back here, the one last questing, these are all the picks that we wanna make. Boron, we can't make until we have steel. Aluminum, that's what we wanna make. Uh, tough alloy pickaxe is going to be in four or five episodes and Electrum we can do. Electrum pickaxe is weird. Electrum pickaxe scavenges, oh no, it's redstone. So another one that we really don't need. The aluminum pickaxe is one of the boring one, which is exactly as the other one. It doesn't give you grit, it gives you ore piece. So you need four. So it's gonna give you 225 ore piece that you have to divide by four. So it's 50 iron uh, aluminum ingot, 52 something. And the last pickaxe, what were the last two pickaxe? There was the boron pickaxe that we're going to be able to do soon. The boron pickaxe gives you nether quartz, only nether quartz. So if we need a lot of nether quartz, it's going to be good. And the, no, the, tough, the tough alloy and the tough alloy pickaxe, that's the one that's going to give us the oh, uranium grit. 
So you understand that once we're able to make this, we're gonna have a clicker full-time on Tough Alloy, one full-time on um, Constantin, so that we can make iron and, and uranium to be able to make as many of these uh, machine walls as possible. So guys, now's the time to really finish the episode. I'm gonna go in my time lapse. I'm going to get the aluminum to be sure that we can unlock and I'm going to fill the auto clickers. I'm gonna make more cash. I might make one more tiny room to put all of the cash in. So I can make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 cash. So I can make most of the grits so that I don't have them in my face all the time and that they're put somewhere that I can move easily. But, uh, and I'm going to get the aluminum, like I said, so that we're set up for the next episode where we're going to get into steel we're going to make the crusher and we're going to make our first five by five by five. So that's why I wanna make a lot of walls because if I can make a lot of wall, I'm gonna be able to maybe make two five by five, maybe even three, that would be amazing because now we're going to be able to put some real bits of automation. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.